I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on sequences and series. The question here is the first, third, and thirteenth terms of an arithmetic sequence form a geometric sequence. For the same arithmetic sequence, the sum of the fourth and seventh terms is 40. Find the first term and the non zero common difference. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and look into my suggestions. Now, we are given three terms of arithmetic sequence. In general, uh, any term Tn in arithmetic sequence can be written as a plus n minus 1 times d, where d is the common difference, right? So if I have to write the first, third, and thirteenth term, then first term will be a, a is your first term, n is 1, that term will be 0. Thirteenth term, that means 13 minus 1 is 12, so we get a plus 12d, and then we write, oh, third I missed in between, so okay, third term will be uh, a plus 2d, right? a plus 2d. So basically it is first, third and thirteenth. They are in geometric sequence. When we say that the terms are in geometric sequence, that means they have constant ratio, right? They have constant ratio. So if you look into these terms, in that case the ratio a plus 2d divided by a should be equal to 13th term is the next term in geometric sequence, which is a plus 12d divided by the third term, which is a plus 2d, correct? So basically, the terms which are in geometric sequence are basically t1, t3, and t13. And therefore, t3 over t1 should be equal to T13 over T3, correct? That is geometric sequence. Now we can cross multiply and uh, get one equation. So we get A plus 2D times A plus 2D. So that is the whole square times A times A plus 12D. So here you get A square plus 2AB, which is 4AD plus d square, I mean 4d square, equals to a square plus 12ad. Now a square, a square cancel, and we can, we can actually, yeah, uh, simplify this and get one equation. So we get 4d square, 4d square as equal to 12 a d minus 4 a d which is 8 a d dividing by 4 I do get that um, d square is equal to uh, dividing by 4 we get d square as 2 a d right so 2 a d and d and d can cancel correct so we get d as equal to 2a, right? So that becomes one of our equations. d equals to 2a. Now, we are also given another condition which says that the sum of fourth and seventh term is 40. So sum of fourth and seventh term, we are talking about the arithmetic sequence right so the fourth term will be a plus 3d right fourth term and the seventh term is going to be a plus 6d now when you add fourth and seventh term you get 40 that means a plus 3d plus a plus 6d equals to 40 so a plus a is 2a, so we get 2a plus 9d is 40, right? So, and we know d is 2a, so let this be equation 1. So I'm substituting 2a for d. 
So what I do here now is, this is my equation 2, so I sub 1 into. So in that case, I get 2a, I could have written d for 2a, that is better, right? So instead of 2a, I am writing d now. So I get here d plus 9d equals to 40, 10d equals to 40 or d is equals to 40 divided by 10, I mean, which is 4. So d is 4, I can find what a is. So you could actually rearrange this and write a is d over 2, right? So we can say here, this implies that a is 4 over 2, which is 2, right? So the first term of this non-zero common difference is 2. So our answer is, First term A is 2 and the common difference D is 4, right? Does it make sense? Now here's a very important part of the question. Let us try to understand that also. It says for a non-zero common difference. Do you see that non-zero? So that means you are not supposed to, you could take one sequence like uh, sum of two terms is 40 so you could have a sequence which is like 20 20 20 and so on do you see that so in this sequence common difference is is zero do you see that and every term is a geometric sequence also since r is equals to one so there could be many sequences where the common difference could be zero, so those sequences are both arithmetic and geometric. So, so let's remember this thing, said both arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence you can get when common difference D is zero and R is one. So that is a trick question at times. Uh, sometimes you can do that, but here we have a real situation where we will find a solution without using that kind of uh, sequence, right? So I hope that helps you to understand how to find or solve such questions. Feel free to share your suggestions and views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.